But first, the UK Chamber of Shipping's Chief Executive Guy Platten joins me now to talk about how the changing economic climate will shape the future of shipping. Guy, thank you very much for joining me today. And just tell me a little bit about why is London such an attractive location for international shipping businesses to be based? And what about the rest of the UK? Thank you. I'll take London and the UK. It's a great place to live to start with. We've got access to loads of really highly trained, highly skilled people. But more importantly as well, we've got a number one for maritime law, number one for finance, we are number three for shipping in the world and we've got access to a wide range of services and business services and top class universities, top class R&D, so it is a great place to base international shipping businesses. And is the tonnage tax regime working and how does it impact the UK economy? It's been a massively successful policy initiative and we know from recent research published actually the next week or so that without tonnage tax there'll be 37,000 fewer jobs in shipping and there will be a 3.1 billion pound uh, less money coming into uh, the, the UK as well in terms of GVA so we know just from those measures it, it's been very successful and also the companies that come in have, have bought really great jobs and these aren't, these aren't sort of low skilled jobs these are highly skilled jobs so it's been very successful for the UK. So do Brits still want to go to sea? Well, I'm a little bit biased because I went to sea and my daughter uh, is at sea as well. But yes, they do. The evidence shows that they, they are. We have about 800 young people starting our industry each year. And for each one of those seagoing places, those training places, we have at least two high quality applicants for it. So there is real appetite still amongst the young to come away to sea. So is investment in UK seafaring something that the government should be looking at? Well, we're, um, we do get some support from government for seafarer training. It's about £15 million, pounds, uh, and that helps us to support about 800 people. It's about £22,000 of government support for each seafarer over an overall cost of about £65,000. So about 25 to, to a third of the, the cost is, is held, is borne by the government. But we'd like to see a lot more than that. We'd like to, to double the number of young people coming into our industry because we believe strategically the UK needs a, a lot more seafarers who will eventually... Uh, go into the sort of shore going jobs as lawyers or, or working in shipping companies and the, and the like. So we're calling on the government to double that support from 15 million to 30 million to allow us to give more young people the opportunity of a, a great career at sea. And what needs to be done to help the industry thrive, particularly as we now approach Brexit? I think what we're looking for certainly is certainty. I think in Brexit we need certainty as businesses and a long transition period or a suitable transition period which allows us to adjust to any new systems. But shipping is, is not just about the European Union. Shipping's so international. So some of the fundamentals which make London and the UK a great place to, to base shipping businesses will remain uh, inside or outside the European Union. But we need government support. We could perhaps having a look at this highly successful tonnage tax to see whether we can extend its scope further to entice more business to come in here. And, and also for UK entrepreneurs to perhaps setting up shipping companies as well. Guy Platten, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you.